Gut Instincts. How Digestive Issues Might Predict Parkinson's Disease. Today we dive deep into a groundbreaking revelation that might just make you trust your gut even more. An intriguing new study suggests the answers to some of our neurological mysteries might lie, not in the brain, but in our gut. Imagine you're experiencing typical gastrointestinal problems, like constipation or difficulty swallowing. Would you ever think these symptoms could be potential early warning signs of Parkinson's disease? It sounds surprising, but that's precisely what recent research proposes. The gut's connection to our overall health isn't a new concept. It's been long believed that gastrointestinal symptoms can precede serious conditions, like a stroke or even Alzheimer's disease. The Brock's hypothesis takes it a step further, suggesting that gut conditions might be the prelude to Parkinson's. Researchers dived into a vast nationwide medical record network, known as Trinetics. They examined thousands of patients, comparing those diagnosed with Parkinson's to others diagnosed with different neurological conditions or none at all. Their objective? To track the occurrence of gut conditions in the years preceding these diagnoses. Four particular gut conditions significantly amplified the risk of a Parkinson's diagnosis, gastroparesis, dysphagia, constipation, and a specific type of irritable bowel syndrome. Some of these conditions more than double the risk of Parkinson's within a five-year window before diagnosis. However, removing the appendix, which many consider a redundant organ, reduced the chances of developing Parkinson's. The findings open a fascinating conversation about the appendix's role in the disease processes tied to Parkinson's. While this study doesn't definitively state that these gut issues cause Parkinson's, it emphasizes the undeniable links between our digestive system and neurological health. It serves as a stark reminder. To understand the brain's complex workings, we might just need to start with the gut. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.